Now, just so I can understand what he's trying to get at, right, and uh, so we don't misrepresent his position. He's basically saying that this is not just the message of Jesus. As far as I understood what you're saying, this message is also anchored in the Hebrew Scriptures. Mm -hmm. That's his position? Yeah. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh. Uh, do, do you mind if I just look at a few references from the Hebrew Scriptures to show that I've this man it. not only spins the New Testament, he also distorts the Old Testament to his shame and humiliation? Go ahead. Hang on. Uh, uh, maybe I should show, tell you what he says. Yeah, so let me, about, yeah, I want to see what he position. says. I'll tell you what he says about the position, and then you can, if yeah. you say he's saying something wrong here. Yeah, All right. uh, well, we'll see. So, uh, again, he, he, he's correcting the Christianized version of Jesus' teaching. He says, when it came to the heart and soul of the Jewish faith, the law of Moses, Jesus was adamant that his mission was not to abolish the law, but to fulfill it, Matthew 5.17. That law made a clear distinction between relations among Jews and relations between Jews and foreigners. Foreigners, that's good he said that. The oft-repeated commandment to love your neighbor as yourself was originally given strictly in the context of internal relations within Israel. The verse in question reads, You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Actually, Levit Levit Leviticus 19.18 to the Israelites, as well as to Jesus' community in first century Palestine, neighbor meant one's fellow Jew. Fellow Jew, right? With regard okay. to the treatment of foreigners and outsiders, oppressors and occupiers, however, the Torah could not be clearer. You shall drive them out before you. You shall make no covenant with them and their gods. They shall not live in your land. All right. For those, one more, yeah. for those who view Jesus as the literally begotten Son of God, Jesus' Jewishness is immaterial. If Christ is divine, then he stands above any particular law or custom. But for those seeking the simple Jewish peasant and charismatic preacher who lived in Palestine 2,000 years ago, there is nothing more important than this one undeniable truth. The same God whom the Bible calls a man of war, Exodus 15, 15, 3, exactly. the God who repeatedly commands the wholesale slaughter of every foreign man, woman, and child yeah. who occupies the land of the Jews, the blood-spattered God of Abraham and Moses and Jacob and Joshua, the God who shatters the heads of his enemies, <laughs> bids his warriors to bathe their feet in the blood and leave their corpses to be eaten by dogs. That is the only God that Jesus knew and the sole God he worshipped. Wow. You're kind of getting kind of kind of animated right there. Uh -huh. You're kind of scaring me right there, man. I am, I am trying to say right it there. like Reza wants it said. Oh, yeah. Jesus is a jihadist, <laughs> hell-bent on killing right. and slaughtering everyone. Now, now, before I even begin uh, looking at some of the Old Testament, I'm just going to quote the Old Testament passages. How much time before the first break, before I even double Blood! That's how much minutes. time. Okay, five minutes. Let me see. Blood! All right, my friend, you, you prove, okay, you don't need to, you've convinced me. All right, I'm a friend. Remember, I'm, trying to, I'm, trying I'm a neighbor. I'm trying to channel the spirit of Reza here. All right, I I'm, can't I'm wait till you debate him. Right. Well, here, let me do this. Uh, let me look at some Old Testament references. In fact, what's ironic, he mentioned Leviticus 19.18, correct? Yes. You mean the same Leviticus 19, verses 33, 34, which says the following? Because he quoted in Leviticus 19.18 to prove loving your neighbor as yourself meaning, means to love a fellow Jew or Israelite, Israelite right? Leviticus 19, 33 to 34, as the Lord Jesus blesses us to represent his word accurately, unlike what Rizza does, perverting not just the Quran, but even the Bible to shame. Leviticus 19, 33 to 34. When a stranger resides with you in your land. Now, according to Rizza, it should say, kill him, right? Mm -hmm. Wipe him from, from yes. under the sun. When a stranger resides with you in your land, you shall do him no wrong. What? The stranger who resides with you shall be to you as a native among you, and you shall love him as yourself. What? For you were aliens in the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh, your God. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. This should have said, when an alien lives, uh, resides among you, wipe him from under the sun because he's a dog beneath you. Right? If Rizzo's correct. Let me just read it one more time in case Rizzo's listening, right? In case Rizzo's listening. By, by, listening by the this. way, this is, not, this is not just important for that verse. It's be, because he says, love your neighbor as yourself, only applies to fellow Only, Jews. right? Yeah. And well, let me read it idea? again. When a stranger resides with you in your land, you shall not do him wrong. Do him no wrong. The stranger who resides with you shall be to you as the native among you. You shall love him as yourself. For you are aliens in the land of Egypt, and I am Yahweh, your God. Could it be any clearer? So, you are to love your fellow Jews as yourself, but also you're to treat strangers as you treat your fellow Jews. As a native Jew, yes. 
but that's the exact opposite of what Reza says in his book. <laughs> and since it's the same chapter he quotes, obviously he read it. And if he read it, then the, I mean, there are only two possibilities. Either he only zeroed in, he only he zeroed in on what he wanted, and then ignore. I mean, didn't even bother to read the rest of the chapter, or he did read the rest of the chapter, and he is deliberately misrepresenting what the Bible says in order to deceive. Precisely. Readers. Now, even before I get to the break, let me read one more. There's several I want to read, but let me at least read this before the first break. Deuteronomy 10, 17 to 19. This is quite powerful. Now, Leviticus 19 was powerful. This is just as powerful. Watch what the Lord says. Deuteronomy 10, 17 to 19. For Yahweh your God, or the Lord your God, is the God of gods and the Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, the awesome God, who does not show partiality nor take a bribe, he executes justice for the orphan and the widow, shows his love for the alien by giving him food and clothing. So show your love for the alien, for you were aliens in the land, land of Egypt. Did you see what he just said? Yeah. I'm an impartial God, and therefore I love the alien, not just you. And because you're my people, you are to love the alien because I love the alien. 